So, on Hoodlum Callum's Discord, they have a section called Fixer Shiny. Recently, a person on there named Blazing Nova has made some of the best shinies I've ever seen. I mean, seriously, they took shinies that I straight up do not like and made them good. So, I finally caved in, learned how to change shinies on my phone, and I made a shiny guard chomp. Because shiny guard chomp barely changes, so I thought it'd be cool if it was kind of like a black, dark gray. So in this video, we are going to be changing some shinies, and we are going to start off with Kangaskhan. I think Kangaskhan has an alright shiny, but I think it can be better. Also, in the specific app I'm using for this one, there wasn't much I could really do with Kangaskhan's color style, and I'll be using a different app later on in this video though, that I will be using for the rest of my changing shiny Pokemon videos. But when you go to change the hue on the red, it doesn't really do that much. As you can see, it kind of either deepens the red or just straight up makes it gray. So I figured we're going to work with that. There's not much you can change when it comes to the main body color of Kangaskhan, but I really like the idea of making it gray, so I went with that. The only problem was because I was changing the actual redness on Kangaskhan, it's eye change too. But I wouldn't be able to have the gray body with a piercing red eye sticking out. So I actually ended up going to another app, that way I could have a gray body and a red eye. I also wanted to change the little bit of gray on top of its head, but it couldn't let me, so I didn't. So instead of changing the gray on top of the head, I changed the yellow, being the ears, and the little pouch where the baby Kangaskhan stays, and I made it green. Now, I know a lot of people don't like green Chinese, but I personally really like them, so I thought having little green accents would look really good. I then worked on making Kangaskhan's overall body look more gray, and then I hopped into another app to make sure that I was a nice piercing red. Alright, I'm in a different app now, and all I'm about to do is just change the eye to a red, because in order to get that nice gray color on the Kangaskhan, I had to turn the saturation all the way down. So now I'm in a different app, coloring the eye red so we get that nice gray body, the green accents, and that bright, piercing red eye. All right, and up close, it might not look that good when you're very, very zoomed in the eye, but far away, I think it looks great. We got the red eye, the green accents, and the gray body. I also tried to zoom in and see what would happen if I tried to color the baby Kangaskhan's eye red because it's black and I wanted to know if it would actually show up a bit because I know sometimes if you go over the black with a color, it'll actually change a bit. It doesn't really work out that well because when you zoom out, you can barely even tell that it's colored red at all. But I figured, hey, I'd give it a try just to see if you could tell the difference, and uh, you can't. But it's alright. Anyways, we have the finished shiny Kangaskhan, so let's go ahead and move on to the next shiny Pokemon. Alright, shiny Gengar is another one of those shinies that just doesn't change that much, like shiny Garchomp. Just in case you don't know, on the right was shiny Gengar, and on the left was a regular one. So I hop into another Photoshop app. This one is probably the one I'm going to be using for the rest of the videos and the rest of the shiny slide has changed. I started messing around with the hue a bit just to see what a more pink Gengar would look like. And then messing with the saturation, I made what the actual shiny Gengar looks like. I mean, I always knew that they'd literally just down the saturation, but doing it yourself just make, makes me feel sad. And then I always thought it would be fun to make Gengar look silver. Shiny Mega Gengar turns white and it is amazing and you can actually tell that it's shiny so i thought it'd be fun if we took shiny gengar and did the same thing this isn't the finished product though but i do really like the way it looks when it's silver also as much as i try to i really couldn't get the eyes to change when you change the hue on red or the saturation it doesn't really show up that well you can barely tell that it's been even changed at all so i just love the eyes red the way they are though i think i would have liked if they were more red now, blue Gengar, right, right? It would line up with the rest of the shiny line. Shiny Ghastly, blue. Shiny Haunter, blue tongue. Shiny Gengar, why not make it like a teal, smoky, kind of dark blue? That way the shiny line would be relatively the same. I really like the way shiny Gengar looks if it was blue. I think that would be very neat. But we finished that. We're gonna keep blue. I like the way it looks. And now we're on to shiny Weavile. This is my least favorite shiny. I do not like the pink and yellow mixed together. I saw in the old sprites the pink was actually more pastel, and then in later generations it turns into a more vivid hot pink. If it was pastel, it would be much better. 
but shiny weavile and shiny sneezile are my two least favorite shinies so i thought today we would be fixing shiny weavile i started messing with the overall body colors changing the saturation and the hue and whatnot and then when i actually finally got to changing the saturation i found something i really like my favorite Chinese happen to be ones that are like gray and black and silver, so seeing Weavile with this nice dark gray color instead of being pink was really nice. I then started messing with the little gem on his forehead and quickly decided I preferred it being green. Gray and green just works really really well together. I then started messing with a bit with the luminance and could you imagine if this thing just lit up this bright neon green every time Weavile attacked? That would be neat, but it doesn't but I still think it looks really nice with just the tiny bit of luminance to make it look bright, almost as if it was lighting up. I'm not quite sure if I want to change the kind of, I guess, frills to, to like a brighter red or like a purple or just keep them the way that they are. I think I prefer just keeping it red, but then again, changing it to purple. It also gets purple's eye, purple eyes too, so I'm not sure which one I look better. I did both just to show off what they look like. I think now I prefer the red, but the purple still looks really cool, especially taking into consideration that it's not just the frills that change the color, but the eyes as well. So yeah, here is the finished product. And yeah, here are all three of the finished products. Shiny Weavile goes from this pink and yellow to a nice gray and purpley red. Shiny Kangaskhan gets a gray body with green accents and red piercing eyes. And then of course, one that I personally really really like, Shiny Gengar turns blue to match Shiny Ghastly and Shiny Haunter, it's pre-evolutions. I have to say, out of the three Shinies that we changed in this video, Shiny Weavile is easily my favorite one just because before, Shiny Weavile was my least favorite. So making it spiny gray and giving it like the purpley red colored fins and eyes really made it look better. But what do you guys think? Would you have done some similar colors? Would you have done something completely different? Let me know in the comments below. Also, in the comments, while you're still there typing, typing away, let me know what kind of Pokemon Shinies you want me to change, and I'll have to make another video changing them. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I'm going to go eat some food, because that's what I like to do. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys! I'm in a tropical